Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life. Well, it is about two hours and two minutes into uh, the 17th day of October 2021. Uh, I successfully recorded my first, uh, well, the, sec the first full length uh, observation vlog. I think this is where things will sort of definitely po uh, change to a certain degree. Because a large chunk of what I do, particularly even, even in politics, you're observing personality, you're observing behavior, observing uh, people in many ways. People is uh, are the uh, sort of the object that you're studying and observing uh, uh, as part of a project or re part of research. So uh, it's very fitting that, that 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 this is described within the observation vlog, particularly because. Observation in, on, on certain aspects, depending on what you're doing, uh, atmospheric physics, uh, even acoustical physics, takes such a long period of time that there's a lot of things, there's a lot of nothing to do out there. <laughs> uh, observation is a lot like fishing. I described this before that the observation is, is, is we call it, I call it observational fishing. Uh, because there's a lot of, between, catch, between catches, there's not really a lot to do, and 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 so you got to find a way to occupy yourself uh, for that period of time, and so uh, this is one of the uh, sort of the, the the sort of the drawbacks of observation. It does take a long time, and it occurs over a period of time. As your experience grows, you get better at the observation. But again, it doesn't. There's nothing really to speed up the time. You have to put the time in. If you don't put the time in, uh, then your observational skills will never grow. And your we'll call it the, the the bag of experience will never grow either because you don't have that experience in observation. So, but anyway, it's always good to come back here, uh, do the YouTube stroll. I just finished with the Yowie vlog. I'm now moving over to It's Our Life. Uh, from there, I'll head on over to the Leroy's. From there, uh, I'll either go uh, Our Family Nest and then uh, uh, Family Five vlogs, and then from there to the McNeils uh, and. Um, uh, sister Forever or, or Family Forever vlog. So it should be an interesting day, uh, interesting uh, sort of uh, YouTube stroll. Well, it's only the nineteenth today. It is uh, like five hour, yeah, five hours and six minutes into the nineteenth day of October two thousand twenty-one, and we're back. Uh, just finishing up the. Uh, uh, YouTube stroll. I'm gonna head off the bed. Uh, I done did enough of the work I need to get done. I was supposed to do an observation vlog today, but I didn't end up doing it because I ended up spending uh, more time on testing some equipment. So the test the test which went pretty well. Uh, there were certain issues. I mean, this the te when you test equipment, you're going to expect problems, and it does take a while to work, do the workarounds. Uh, and, and depending on what you have and what you have on hand, in terms of what the issues are, uh, it could take you a week, or actually it could take you more, depends if you might have to order more parts, either, maybe there are parts missing, or a part you need to get, because it will improve the quality of what you have. Uh, there's always that sort of need to test. Uh, and it does take time depending on what you have on hand, what the issue is, and so on and so forth. Uh, but this, this, you know, this is par for the course. This is how you move along. And, uh, uh, for me, it's perfectly fine. This is part of the adventure, if you will. Uh, I did watch Lionel today. Lionel, uh, or listen, actually, I more listen to Lionel than I watch because it's more or less a conversation, so... Uh, you can uh, just listen as much as watch. Uh, he's still stuck on things, but uh, <laughs> uh, it does the way he describes things. It does pin him pin him into more of a uh, role of a we'll call it a type of conspiracy theorist. There, there are a number of types of conspiracy theorists. Uh, and I said the conspiracy theorists only see maybe ten percent of what's there, so they're, they're working on that assumption. And you can you can tell 
a conspiracy theorist. My the the when you bring out a term, we bring out or, or use something. If they reject it and don't look into the history of the term, uh, uh, in terms of the actual, you know, the, there is the rhetoric, the, the statement, and then there's the reality behind the term. There's, al there's always that history. That, and the history is not is not uh, someone's opinion. You have to go and see what events occurred around these particular uh, these particular I ideologies. And when you go do that, you begin to real realize that, that there is more to the reality than there is in terms of the rhetoric. Yes, okay, socialism is a planned economy, and all these things like Marxism are all planned economies. But they're not necessarily planned economies. This is the sort of later re redevelopment of the of this of this sense of Marxism, because it was basically a, a, a humanistic understanding. That man could control his own destiny, and a large chunk of socialism, particularly when you're looking at Marxism, comes in the what we'll call the modernist era, uh, prior to postmodernism. So you have, a, in, this is why Lionel can't understand what's going on now and doesn't call it communism, or Marxism or anything like that, because there is a what's coming up now is a postmodern element. It, it, it is a further evolution of the humanist ideology. From modernism to postmodernism, and these are all within the within the uh, humanistic understanding. And these are sort of the, the humanism starts everything, and then it kind of branches off into a lot of different mishmashes. And you know, you have one person calling, you know, will consider Castro a communist, other one will won't. Uh, some will consider Che Guevara uh, a, a communist, but, but other people won't. And they were all, they all be, there is no one agreement as to what is communism. Uh, but again, as soon as he sees it's not what, this, what he considers the proper definition, he drops it. That's a conspiracy theorist. You have to go deeper. You have to go into the, 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 the nitty gritty, if you will. And this is where he, he leaves off. He doesn't, and you see them do this over and over and over again. He does move, eventually he does move. But it's not in the, in the time frame that he expects to move in. Things take months, it takes months for things to change. And you have to be patient. This is what I learned with Lord's Mobile. Lord's Mobile is that it's a very slow moving game. Same thing with QLARP. QLARP is going to be a very slow moving game. And there are a lot of elements in there that are, go that are going to shift, and you have to shift and adjust with these various different changes. And the thing is, these changes and, and, and the, 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 the sort of the, the, the microcosm that causes the change, change is not predictable because it, it, it's, it's out of sight. You're not going to be able to predict what's going to happen. But you do have, when it, when it does happen, you have to adjust, you have to shift. And a large chunk of what's going on is in a shifted environment. But the thing is, because he won't go beyond his, his, his sense of definition, uh, Lionel always has to refer back to the, to the shadow government, to the shadow leaders, and shadow this and shadow that, when they can be defined. You can go beyond the shadow and into a very good sort of definition, definition as to what is the shadow government. You're not going to be able to get down to the fine details, but you can indeed get into uh, some of the structures and some of the realities of what the shadow government actually is. Uh, it, it, the information is there. It's a matter of, can you pull enough of the information together in order to uh, put together a good uh, sort of perspective on this. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave this here. Uh, I plan to be up at 2 o'clock in the afternoon again. That's going to be my uh, waking time. Right, right now I'm shifting back to the sleep realm uh, where I will enjoy myself. Uh, Carly's enjoying her, uh, Carly Reese is enjoying her uh, online school and she's finding a lot more, do, when you're doing studying like this, it, 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 it's a lot more, uh, you have a lot more free time, you have, you can adjust your schedules in the way you want. Uh, you do a lot of your, bizarrely enough, you do a lot of your work at night. Uh, the thoughts are different at night than they are during the day. That's 
it's all I can sort of describe it as. Uh, anyways, uh, see you in the next transition. Well, it's the uh, it's three hours and twenty minutes into the twenty first day of no into the twentieth day of October two thousand twenty one. I'm just sort of thinking of that now, and uh, it's been a, a a very productive day. I ended up changing up one of my mattresses. The, the, the I have a topper on there. Uh, it's uh, made out of gel foam. I find the gel, the gel much better than just simply the foam, the memory foam, uh, it, it, particularly for the back and everything. A much more comfortable sleep. Uh, we'll see what happens tonight. I did I did change everything out. I did my observation uh, vlog for the night. I was outside for oh, uh, from about uh, nine thirty till just about one o'clock in the morning. I came in. I've come in. I came in about two hours ago. Uh, two two and a half hours ago. I am feeling quite fatigued. I'm not. I'm comp almost completely knocked out. Uh, so the words are kind of. Uh, Escaping me, I just kind of feel, <laughs> you know, very bizarre. It's one of those uh, fatigue feelings again. Uh, anyway, I think I'm going to leave that here for now because uh, there's not, I, I don't have that much more to say. And I'm getting very tired, so I think this is going to be it. Well, it is three hours into the 21st day of October 2021, and uh, my lion here keeps falling out of position. So, <laughs> uh, I'm at uh, uh, the McNeil family in terms of a YouTube stroll. I started off at uh, Yellow Logs and eventually worked my way through. Uh, that was earlier in the day. Uh, then I went outside to do some observation. Although I did go back to bed because uh, I was feeling wiped out. Uh, today is supposed to be a day off, but uh, sometimes when there's nothing left to do, you end up going back to work anyway. So that's kind of what I did. Things are shaping up. Uh, the projects that I'm working on are coming together. Uh, the sound project, the parts is now starting to come in. I've done most of the testing. I'll have to do some more uh, work tomorrow uh, that will sort of help uh, move things along. Uh, it's basically, you solve one problem, you move on to the next problem, then there's another problem after that, and on and on. I need to get my bear here. Uh. And the thing is, it does present an issue, uh, particularly when you're not sleeping well. I'm, I'm up at night now, so. Uh, and I should be sleeping, but I'm not sleeping. I'll probably go to bed in about an hour or so. I still still have some work to get done. And then once that's done, once that's done then I'll be able to sort of uh, go back to bed and sort of uh, relax on, on, on a more... Uh, but not as much on my mind. And as you can see, I'm struggling with my words right now. So I think I'm going to leave this here. This, 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 these segments will be rather short in terms of uh, the transition because there's not much really to say. Because my mind is all over the place. Well, it is uh, 15 hours and 30 minutes into the uh, 21st day of, uh, of October. Uh, 2021, and we have a fair number of packages to open up. Uh, packages to open up. So let's begin. Oh, I've been sleeping better on a new mattress. Uh, I have a mattress on top of my mattress. So that's the way I do things now. Oh, it's a gel mattress. And uh, I got a new one, uh, better than the one I had before, and it works very well. I'm sleeping very well with it, so. Uh. 
the surprises again. The one package had two packages in it. Let's go along the side here. Open. Mm. So I'm sleeping better. I'm starting to catch up on the sleep that I've been missing. I was, I was sleeping better, by the way. I wasn't sleeping as well as I should have. Okay, yep. Yeah, these are uh, from my electric guitar. Uh, a set of uh, Gibson uh, guitar strings. The whole entire set of strings. So now to open the second one. Opened along the top. So that's going to be for the music studio. And what comes in here? Oh, yeah, nice, nice. This is uh, uh, another set of these chords. These are uh, uh, multiple port. Um, Uh, dongle thingies, so I can put uh, I can put power and I can do power and uh, put an OTG port on there. That's going to be significant for uh, I already have uses for it. Alrighty, so let's go get into this one here. This one seems to be a little thicker. I will have to process these later because uh, I have to photograph them and uh, let the companies know that I got them and do a review and so on and so forth. So uh, that will be done. Okay. These are mop heads for my steam vacuum. So I'm going to do a little, little bit more cleaning than I did, I've done this so far. It's kind of lag. My cleaning is kind of lagging behind. The packages seem to be stuck together. So let's see if we can separate them. There we go. Yeah. These are the vacuum pads. This box here, we'll see what this is. Okay, good. That opened up rather easy. Packages become difficult to open, but anyway, that typically occurs. Uh, oh, good, good, good. I was waiting for this. This is a, a overhead light. Um, uh, one, one of the uh, my house, one of the overhead lights that, that are supposed to provide light has gone out. It's no longer working. So I got that. I got it for seventeen dollars. Pretty cheap. I have 
the last package to open here. Cut this a little bit more. And the thing is, is that from my perspective here, anyways, going back to uh, a little note on Lionel, is that uh, there are ways to survive. You know, the, the, the things have always gone wrong in history. Things have always never been as good as they should have been. But people do survive. And that's the sort of the thing is that you have to figure out how you're going to survive. Okay, this is a box within a box. <laughs> a box and then another box. Okay, here's the opening to the bag. Let's try to get this off. But, uh, I'm going to need my scissors once again. I'm at a loss for what this is. Seems like a nice case. Anyways. Okay, nice case. Let's open up the case. Um, what do we have? Oh, yes. Very nice. This. And I'll have to bring it on here one, one other time. Is a portable oscilloscope. This is for my electronics bench, my engineering bench. Let me try to get a good seat. We can open this up. We get a, get a good look. To get a good look at this. Uh, very well packaged. Always bags within bags within bags. There you go. There's the uh, the device. I haven't turned it on yet, so there's going to be a bit of uh, time, uh, sort of a bit of an adjustment before I do that. So that's going to be uh, some you know, work a pro a project. Uh, and there you can see the bubble that's going on behind. That's the light behind. This is the that's the light, the light that's behind the screen, behind the uh, camera. That's the LED monitor. Ugh, so <laughs> it came in a very nice case. Seems to be very very good. It's got the leads and everything. So yay for that. Uh, Looking forward to doing some more work on my electron my electronics bench, doing some engineering work. And this uh, will provide the uh, opportunity to do so. So that's the uh, package over. This is uh, the mini Christmas haul. That we <laughs> no, it's not Christmas, but I call it Christmas because I, I do enjoy getting things in the mail. So I, even though I paid for them. I do enjoy it. Uh, I don't know if I held up the uh, the, the uh, light at all, did I? Well, here's the light. Here's the overhead light. This is uh, for a patio or walkway uh, uh, when, when you're walking in at night. Uh, it's uh, solar powered. It's got LED in it, so um, you don't need electricity. You just need to um, put it into the wall and away you go. So, anyways, uh, I think uh, that's going to be it for uh, today. Uh, in terms of this transition, anyways, or, or opening, uh, our, our package opening segment. So, uh, I'll probably see you tonight uh, outside uh, when I do observation again. Uh, and so, yeah, see you then. We are Cyborg Alpha.
Infinite Queen in middle school.